So now, um, the things to focus on, the important things are the eye. Doing the eye and also the fin work. Filling in this fin so it's nice. You see there's a lot of missing parts of the fin up here. Totally up to you if you want to fill that in and get some more detail down here where there's some uh, ink missing on the fins. A lot of that stuff will take care of itself as you're painting it. But the eye is real important. Now the eye on the mahi is more of a, a teardrop shape. I'd like to do the outline of it first and then I will leave a white spot there as I'm filling in this eye. And then I'll go ahead and fill in some of the cloudiness of the eye. I'll fill that in too as, as I'm going around. There's the eye right there. Okay, so now that we've finished painting the eye in and all of the details and finishing the spaces that didn't get uh, printed in and finishing the detail on the fins, and the tail. Pretty good basic black print. So now we're ready to apply color. One of the most important things to do is to paint a real good eye because the eye really sets it apart. And if you pay close attention to the eyes of fish, they usually have a really either a yellow or a white circle right around the pupil. So I always paint that in first. And then I put a little yellow in the rest of the eye to let it blend in. And these are watercolor pencils, and so I'm gonna take some water afterwards and blend it in, or not. It's your, your choice if you want a, a blended watercolor look versus just the pencil look, that's fine. And if you look in their eyes, they usually have kind of a combination. It's, their eyes are really complex. You can spend an, as much time as you want on the eyes trying to get them to look realistic and then when you blend that in with the pencil that'll look real nice and a lot of times on their eyes there, there's some white right here so I leave that white so now start working on the body these mahis have a whole lot of yellow in them and so I usually start just applying a whole lot of yellow and these chalk pastels they you're gonna end up blending them afterwards and so you can apply quite a bit and then blend afterwards the bottom of the fish is usually a little bit white, so I'm going to leave this white down here. Their tails are usually pretty bright yellow. So now start blending in the, the blues. Of course it's going to turn green up here a little bit. It's really tough to uh, simulate the blues that really happen in this mahi-mahi fish. We try to get as close as we can. If you look on there, their lips are a lot, are a blue a lot, a lot of the time. Then we go a darker blue right along in here. Now we can start blending here. It's fun playing with these pastels because they, they blend really nicely. And if you make a mistake, you can just keep on putting color to it and blending it. So now we can put some dots in there and you can put the dots in with, uh, I've got these special crayons right here. They're actually water soluble crayons. Or you can use pretty much anything that you can put dots in. But if you take a look at the, the mahi, a lot of times they're there's a pretty big dot right there, and it goes around the eyes, but you can just go around and put these big dots all over it.
And if you notice, there's actually different color dots on the mahis. So you can put different color dots. There's actually some black dots on them as well. A lot of times the, the dots that don't actually show up up here on the fin, that's where it's useful to have these different color dots.